You love everything home and interior design. Now SoCo, Southern California's destination for interior design inspiration, is bringing you another binge-worthy series. We'll talk to the true masters of design to give you the tips and resources you need to master your own domain. I'm Carrie Freitas, and this is SoCo's Masters of Design. On today's episode, we're gonna teach you about Japandi. I know it sounds like I made it up, but trust me, it's trending on Pinterest and on Google. Japandi is basically a mashup of Japanese and Scandinavian design, get it, Japandi? And from the Japanese tradition, it's pulling timeless elegance and also sleek lines. And from the Scandinavian tradition, it's pulling minimalism and functionality. Trust me, you're gonna love this new trend as we take you through SoCo and show you some great examples of how you can incorporate it into your home. So we're here at Hay. It's a lot of Danish-inspired design, which of course fits in with the Scandi part of Japandi. We've got a really wonderful lamp here that really plays into the Japandi trend with its natural materials and sleek lines. Same with the bench that you're seeing here. Very sleek, almost like a mid-century look. Back to the chair, again, mid-century sleek, clean lines, very timeless. And of course, some kind of organic look in a little bit of a ceramic tone that really brings an organic, clean line to reinforce the Japandi look on any surface of your home. We're at Perch, and when you think about Japandi design, two of the great places to showcase that kind of design in your home are the bath and the kitchen. And of course, we are at Perch because what better place to explore the most premium luxury fixtures and appliances for both kitchen and bath, and of course, outdoor too. First, we're gonna start with a couple of really great tubs. And if there's something that I think of when I think of Japanese design, it's a great deep soaking tub. So we've got obviously a very Japanese inspired tub here with the wood accents. This is obviously great uh, if you're like me and wanna bring your glass of wine or book into the tub for a deep soak. You'll notice the natural materials and the clean lines which signify it as part of Japandi design. Same here with a more of a cement looking tub. Uh, again, a deep soak and again, a natural material and a neutral color that will fit into any design scheme and color scheme. So again, Japandi design, don't forget the bathroom and especially the tub. All right, so we talked about Japandi being an important trend in the kitchen as well, and nothing really illustrates that better than this kitchen at Perch. We're looking at a really great backsplash that's got both a stone and a wood feel, and again, natural elements and sleek elements are very important in Japandi. This captures both of those. This counter is really another great example of the Japandi trend as far as a natural material. It basically looks like a stone and a concrete. And the fact that it has a waterfall edge, meaning it continues over and there's no break in the construction of the material, really gives you that sense of sleek simplicity, which is key to Japandi. Another example of that, which I think is really great, is not only the Scandinavian wood feeling that you get here, which is a lighter kind of a driftwood tone, but also the fact that these cabinets and the integrated, you know, coffee maker, a favorite, the integrated appliances really give a sense of sleek simplicity and they don't kind of interrupt the eye at any given point. It's one kind of long line and really a pleasing element to any kitchen. We're here at Room and Board. You know Room and Board for a lot of mid-century modern design, which does fit into the Japandi tradition perfectly. They're known for American-made, wonderful craftsmanship that lasts a lifetime, and really timeless pieces that will stay with you from kids through retirement to all sorts of places in between. So let's take a look at their Japandi living room and bedroom. Looking at a living room space, again, we're talking neutral tones, natural materials, sleek lines, very minimalistic, but also inviting. You'll see that obviously reflected in these chairs. You've got a really wonderful kind of wood Scandinavian top to this table. And then of course the clean lines and neutral colors, just with a little bit of pop of color, but still in the natural range on the sofa, which is of course a sectional for versatility. It's a great example of a Japandi living room. Uh, and then headed over here, uh, bedroom. So if you'll see the both the bedside table and this other really great storage unit that becomes a bedside table, they both have that natural wood, but also kind of a tonsu chest look, which is definitely traditional Japanese. And then you've got a really wonderful platform bed that again plays into the Japandi tradition with the neutrals. Um, and then of course, you know, for a seating area, you've got this really wonderful sleek, really organic looking chair as well as a ottoman um, for a great reading nook, but also again, continuing in the Japandi style of neutral colors, natural tones, um, just love it. So that's Japandi at Room and Board. Thank you for joining us today for our look at Japandi design. 
We hope you've enjoyed the tours of the SoCo showrooms that capture this wonderful trend that we know will be a winning combination for your home. We're ending today at Modani Collection with their beautiful outdoor set that captures the feeling of Japandi. Look forward to seeing you next time on Masters of Design.